Well, my name is Stan Natchez. I'm a Shoshone Tatavian. Tatavian is a word in our language. Um, it means the people who stand in the sun. This is a painting that I did that was probably about five feet by eight feet. And I'm doing stuff on currency. I'm doing stuff on the yellow pages. I'm using um, comic strips. I'm using, you know, blueprints. And for me, the reason I'm using these things is because all I'm trying to do is document the time I live. I'm a modern man. You know, I drive a car. You know, I fly in planes. And I'm, you know, just as bad eater as the rest, you know. I mean, sometimes I'm like, oh, maybe I'll go get a burger over here. And I'm like, oh, you know, the processed food. Because as modern man, we start to forget about something. And we, what we start to forget about as modern man is that it's not all about buying and, and consumption and mix it up. This painting was huge. This painting was eight feet by ten feet. These are four panels and um, there was two paintings that the Boston Fine Arts Museum was deciding over and this was one of them. They purchased another one that I'll show you a little later. And I'm doing stuff here. I'm using pounds and I'm using lira and, and really what this is is called the BIA numbers. And I have a friend here that lives in San Felipe. He's San Felipe, he's Sioux and Navajo. His wife, San Felipe, Taos, and Hickory Apache. The little girl is of five tribes. She's not a quarter blood of any one tribe. So she can't be enrolled anywhere. So she's a full blood Indian. She's going to school at ASU, but no, not, none of the five tribes can get together and think and say, hey, she's a descendant. These are the families. Can't we give her a scholarship? Can't we help her through school? So I think, and, like, and I have it div divided up in little squares, like, you know, you're a quarter, you're eighth, you're one sixteenth. And one of the things that we're doing to ourselves is it's, we're almost genociding our own selves that way. If a tribe can't say that, you know, you're, if they can't figure out that she's a full blood and be able to help her, some of our own people that are full bloods, they're just living in the shadow. All they are is a shadow now because we're the only people in the whole country, in the whole world, that are documented with a number. You get your BIA number, your, your census number, your enrollment number. So for me, as traveling international, I get influenced by Van Gogh. And, and, you know, and this is my Stan Gogh piece. I, the original one I did for my wife. And I did it for her birthday. And, um, but I, you know, I used Zuni pottery. And you know, I kind of changed. You know, how did, this is Van Gogh coming to Santa Fe. <laughs> And this is clan mothers. And the clan mothers, they had the power to impeach the chiefs. The concept of the impeachment in the American Constitution came from the Iroquois Nation. Benjamin Franklin borrowed it from them. He gave the power to the people of impeachment, not to the women. But the seven clan mothers of the Iroquois Nation, they, can, they, did, they had the power to impeach, and they had the power to reelect the new leader. And to me, that's amazing. You know, For us, that people don't realize that Hollywood has really distorted um, Indian culture of thinking that our, our men were uh, trying to be better than the women and the women were walking behind us because we were trying to belittle them. But the reason the woman would walk behind you and you went in the teepee first is if there was a rattlesnake or if there was an enemy in there, you're ready to die for your mom, your sister, your, your wife. When you see the soldiers falling out of the sky like that, Sitting Bull had a vision right before Custer's last stand. This is called Custer's last dream. That soldiers were going to be falling out of the sky into the camp. He knew that they were coming. And, um, and that's what I use. When I paint the American flag, it's really influenced more by Jasper Johns, you know, Rauschenberg, all of, all of these um, contemporary painters. And you play can't see it real good, but it's all comic strips under, underneath the stripes. And because when I started painting on um, currency um, in the 80s, and Elaine Horowitz showed my work, it was really interesting because people thought I was this angry Indian. And they had a special, uh, 2020 had a special, came to Santa Fe on political Indian art. So it's me, David Bradley, Jane Ash Portress. I'm trying to think of some other natives in there. And everyone kind of fed into this lady's hand. She was doing this 2020 special on angry Indians. So I had one like this, but it was on the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. So she said, well, can you tell me about your political art? And I said, well, my art's not political, it's educational. So everyone else fed into her hands and told her what she wanted. And she goes, what do you mean? I see the Constitution. I see a battle scene. I see the Bill of Rights. I said, well, did you know tribes are not covered under the Bill of Rights or the American Constitution? We're not. We're covered under the Indian Civil Rights Act. She goes, no, I didn't know that. I'm like, well, see there, it's educational. Cut, cut. <laughs> she didn't like it. 
she wanted she wanted me to feel like I was angry and you know I just read bear in my heart at wounded knee yesterday and and that's what it is this is basically kind of um you know I I have a it's called a postcard from Santa Fe that was the name of the painting here and it's written down on the bottom 